All right, are you ready to check out some never-before-seen musical instruments, apps, and other products? And the reason you need to check this out, because Ally McKay has exclusive access to the NAMM show. Mm -hmm. Because the average person won't have this opportunity, will they, Al? They absolutely won't. Yeah, it's a trade show. It's the National <laughs> Association <laughs> of Music Merchants, and it's all about music, all under one roof. Talking about some music. Hi, probably one of the most oh, well-known cool. guitars ever, Fender, and I've got Justin here. And Justin, it's all about someone that everybody knew, everybody loved, Kurt Cobain. What are these guitars? So, uh, it was just the 20th anniversary of the seminal Nevermind album, which was kind of the biggest album of, you know, Generation X, etc. Mm -hmm. And we have two models here, which are the uh, Fender Mustang, that was the Kurt Cobain Mustang, mm -hmm. and the Kurt Cobain Jaguar. He heavily modified his instruments, customized them, put different pickups, electronics, etc. in them. So these are exactly replicated like the ones that he had and played so much. Okay, Justin, what I find fascinating, this guitar right here, all of these scrapes, scratches, everything, that's a brand new guitar. It's looks like that. That's a brand new guitar. He actually bought that guitar used. It's a 1965 Jaguar that we worked with the management, the estate, and the people that worked on Kurt's guitars and that knew uh, Kurt the best. And okay. we have a book that comes with the guitar. Okay. Every scratch and ding is completely replicated. And this book uh, includes set lists. The book includes backstage mm -hmm. passes. It has drawings that Kurt did back when he was uh, in high school. And it has awesome. pictures showing the guitar in action. Interviews with Charles Peterson, the photographer, Ernie Bailey, who is Kurt's tech. Excellent. So we have the whole story, the whole package, and these instruments are all available right now. We're really excited about it. And you guys are in Carson, right? Uh, we're actually in Corona. Corona. Sorry, Carson and Corona people. You are not the same. You are not the same. <laughs> Corona. So come and check out the Fender booth if you are so inclined and can come to NAMM. What the heck is a slaparoo, Andy? Slaparoo is the coolest thing at NAMM this year, I have to tell you. It's an electric tuned percussion instrument. It uses a steel band okay. to get its sound and a bunch of uh, electronic sound effects and a regular pickup. Well, I don't know if I believe you until I hear some slap -a happening. Hey. to look a certain way? Is it awkward when sounds come from things they're not accustomed to? Like, you think that maybe this should look like a bass? So yeah. when people are like, wait, what's happening? I think, honestly, people have been crowding around yesterday just checking it out. Yeah. When people see this, and obviously it doesn't look like a drum, doesn't look like a bass, are minds blown? Oh yeah, definitely. Whenever we play it in front of people, people are always, well, what is this thing and how does it work? Can you do a sick bass line? Because I need to do a rerun dance. All the information there on the screen for Nam. All right, I feel a little rerun. I do feel it. a little rerun. All right. Chicken mound, mound, boom, chicken mound, mound. Oh, yeah. Alan McKay. Oh, what? Don't stop. Don't stop. Oh, it is all happening here oh. in Anaheim, much more, <laughs> including DJ Z Trip coming up. He has something world premiere on KTLA. World premiere. Come on, we want more. Okay, come on, we're more rerun. More rerun. We'll more rerun. You want more? Okay. Back to Grey's Anatomy. Well, Ginger Chan working hard in the traffic center. She's got your five on traffic report coming up. Henry's got your weather as well. We will be right back.